Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You have been think, way too kind towards me. Excellencies, esteemed members of the faculty, students of the university, ladies and gentlemen, I am truly grateful to you all for inviting me here today. But from the beginning, I must say that this doctorate, like the privilege of receiving the warm affection of so many Thai people, is an honor that I feel I do not deserve. The affection that you've shown me, though unexpected, is deeply cherished. I feel humbled and can only hope that I will begin to earn it by being a good human being, a better servant to my country and to the people of the world. Today, for all the kindness that you've shown me, I am happy that I have this opportunity to thank you and to share some of my words and to share some of my thoughts and feelings with you. Now, let me first begin by talking about Thailand. Whenever I travel to any country, I always try and observe what the future of that particular nation is likely to be, how successful or how difficult and why. I do this because there is so much that I can learn from countries, from peoples, their cultures and their experiences. I'm not an expert, so I rely on gaining a personal perspective. I cannot claim to make my conclusions based on complex data and science, but instead I base them on my personal interaction with the people, particularly the youth of that country. So what is my opinion on your country? I've had the great privilege of traveling through Thailand for many years now. And the more I talk with the people, the more I'm filled with optimism. What have I seen and learned? I have learned that you love your country. You have a sense of unity, a sense of common purpose, identity, and destiny. These are very rare qualities in today's modern world. I believe that in spite, I believe that Bhutan has such people. In spite of our size, difficult terrain, and late entry into modern development, Bhutan has achieved so much. In today's world, education, modern development, and technology can bring immense growth and progress to a country. But there is no substitute and no better foundation for a country's bright future than the people's love and belief in the cause of the nation. The people of Thailand have always displayed a commitment and dedication to their own country, which I feel is very, very special. Now, let me say a few words about the youth. In Bhutan, I always say that when we speak of governments, politics, or economic development, we always speak about the future. What we sometimes forget is that the future is actually human. They are the youth of today. They may dress differently, speak differently, have in interests and desires that are different compared to their parents. 
And some people may like it. And some people may not. But if we look deep into their hearts, we find that they share the same desire as their parents to serve their country, to see their country succeed, and to build a brighter and more secure future for themselves and their children. My hope, my personal hope for young Bhutanese is that we will be able to give them the right tools, the right tools to learn, to grasp issues, to make intelligent decisions, and to take everything that their parents and their country has provided to them and utilize them well. They must be capable of enlightened patriotism. It's one thing to love your country, but it's quite another to love it intelligently. I suppose in many ways, it is the same here in Thailand. You, the Thai youth, are devoted to your country. With the right tools, you will take Thailand to greater heights. Now, I would like to take a few moments to say something very personal. This year was a very special year as you celebrated the 60 years of His Majesty's reign. Let me tell you, it was a very special year for me as well. I've always had an interest in Thailand. My interest in your country mainly stems for my deep love and great admiration for His Majesty the King. I've always believed that His Majesty is a gem among gems. And that is why it was a distinct honor for an audience with His Majesty the King in June of this year, which I will never forget. This is a memory that I will always cherish to the rest of my life. We Bhutanese, we understand how special His Majesty, Majesty the King is to the people of Thailand because we too have a King whom we love dearly. The youth of a nation in any country, be it any country, must always have people that they can look up to, people that they can seek examples from. Now they are great figures and personalities in the history of the world, and you can find them in books, on television, in newspapers, magazines, and in movies. But you, the youth of Thailand, don't have to look very far. You have His Majesty the King. Hard work, kindness, justice, dedication, and service to the country. These are some of His Majesty's qualities that you, the youth of Thailand, can aspire to. His Majesty has a special place in your heart. You must now hold a place for His Majesty's ideals and principles in your minds and in your work. I firmly believe that if the youth of Thailand follow in His Majesty's footsteps, Thailand will always experience success, peace and prosperity. Now today, as you graduate, what advice can I share with you? I have nothing that is clear and concise like a textbook. 
But I do have one question. What is our duty as the youth of a modern world, fin filled with endless opportunities, symbolized today by all of you leaving university with high qualifications, ambitions, and promise? I believe that it is our duty to keep in mind that there are many people in this world who have not had the same opportunities as you and I. We must bring about a world in which they too can be given a chance to realize their potential. But to accomplish this, we must first excel in whatever we do as individuals, accept our responsibilities as citizens, and share a concern for the welfare of all of society now and generations into the future. This is the essence of the development philosophy of Bhutan, cross-national happiness. It is very simple. We all have a conscience that tells us right from wrong. Cross-national happiness seeks to be the conscience in each one of us as we go to work as civil servants, as farmers, as teachers, and as businessmen, reminding us that as we carry out our duties we also have a great responsibility to the greater good. Cross-national happiness is the bridge between the pursuit of economic growth and the practice of the fundamental values of kindness, equality, and humanity. We in Bhutan view ourselves not as citizens of Bhutan, but as Bhutanese citizens of the world. And small as Bhutan may be, we feel that one day we might be the conscience of the modern world. In conclusion, all I can say is that every one of you has a part to play in your country's future success. But you must be willing to see a bright, and beautiful Thailand. And you must desire to play a part in it. Your nation was built on hard work and sacrifice of many generations. Now it is time for your generation to play its part. I wish all the students graduating today success and prosperity as individuals and a bright future as good citizens of the beautiful kingdom of Thailand. Thank you very much, Tashidilek, and long live His Majesty, the King of Thailand. Thank you.